confess, Father, I confess. Cause I've been living wrong. I know so what is up YouTube? Wyatt fan back again with another video. And as you guys can probably tell, it kind of looks like my exact same setup like over there, but I actually like rearranged my entire room and it gave me a lot more space. I have this like, giant area to film in now. And then it kind of looks a little bit different. Like there's a mirror there, my Funko Pops over there. I kind of tried to make it like the exact same setup but it will be changing here soon. Today's video is going to be my top 5 WWE Funko Pops in my collection. I do have quite a bit of WWE Funko Pops, I don't have them all, I think I'm missing like 40 or 50 maybe. But yeah, these are like my top 5. There's actually one more that's going to be like an honorable mention, so I guess I'll get to it now. So the honorable mention, or I guess you could say it's number 6, but this is just top 5, is the Seth Rollins FYE exclusive. Now, there's a couple reasons this is like an honorable mention. One, just because um, the other Funko Pops that I have are like a little bit more than this and two, like this thing was like $15 at FYE when it came out and I got it for 5 because I found an FYE that was closing and just the white Summer, Summer Sam 2016 attire is just beautiful like look at this and it's like all the details and stuff in this action video you can't go wrong with it so number 5 is another FYE exclusive FYE exclusive Demon Finn Balor. There's actually three different Finn Balors. There's a regular one, a Demon one, and then one where it's just him, but he also has like the, the Demon paint, and that's a Chase. I don't have the Chase one yet. I'll get it sometime. But yeah, this is another FYE exclusive. This one's super, super cool. Just like, and just look at like all the details on the chest and stuff. Like, it's an awesome pop. So that's why that one's number five. So number four is, oh crap. I knew I dropped it when I got it, but huh. I guess the box is a lot more damaged than I thought it was. That's besides the point. So number four is this cane. It's a Walgreens exclusive cane. And as you guys can see, if I can get it to... There you go. You can kind of see it. It's actually autographed by Kane. I actually have a vlog up on my channel where you guys can see him signing it. It's um, meeting Kane at Lindelhof Westlawn. I think that's what it is. But yeah, I've met Kane a whole bunch of times. He's a cool dude. But just like how cool this figure is. Like this is probably my favorite like Kane era. Probably a whole bunch of other people's too, just because of him with his mask. Yeah, it's just an awesome, awesome figure. And it being signed makes it a little bit more cool, so. So number three, I got this figure for a still. Like, or oh, I'm saying figure. No pops, I guess they're kind of figures, but oh well. So I got this pop for a still, like an absolute still. I'm not, I wasn't that big of a fan of this guy when I bought it, but now that he's with Cesaro and doing all that stuff, I like him a lot more now. So, so you guys probably know who it is. It's Sheamus. As you can see, it has the old script, the WWE logo up there. Um, this figure goes for, I think, 30-ish, like high 20s, mid 30s on like eBay and stuff and I got this thing for like five dollars. Same thing with the uh, Seth Rollins. That's why he was closing down so this was like five bucks. It's super super cool. That's honestly probably the only reason it's on this list. But it is gonna look cool signed. I think Kayla, it was either Kayla or someone else actually has this figure or this pop signed. And it looks super super cool. I was thinking like maybe a blue Sharpie or something. And the back of the box since I'll probably one day I'll have that CM Punk pop. I've been looking, can't really justify paying $80 for it right now, but... Okay, so number two is probably, I'm gonna say, like, since it's signed, my most expensive pop I have. I only pay like $10 for it, but just like, how much it goes for now that it's signed is pretty cool. So I actually have it in one of the, like, actual Funko Pop protectors, things like $10 a hot topic. It's Sting. I met this. I met uh, Sting this past summer, and I think June, end of May, June, something like that. I fanboy. They had him in. He's a, he's a super cool dude. I actually met him in all of his face paint and all that stuff. But yeah, this like the Sting pop is just like super super cool. I've always liked Sting. I like his face paint and stuff. But it being signed, you guys can kind of see though. He signed it in uh, silver, so it doesn't it doesn't show up that well. But you can still tell it's there. That's my number two Funko Pop. And number one, you guys probably saw, what was it, like two weekends ago? I'm actually kind of bummed out because the Funko Pop protector does have paint on it. Someone came and painted all of our doors. We've got new doors put up all throughout the house. They're painted in white. And I came into my bedroom. All my WWE Funko Pops were knocked on the ground. I was really, really pissed. But none of them were, were really damaged. Like, the worst thing that happened was they, they got paint on, this, on the pop protector on this one, which I'm glad it's on the pop protector. And yeah, I'll just go on Amazon and buy a new one soon because it's just like the cheap flimsy ones. But it's Toys R Us exclusive Bailey. As you guys can see, the paint's up there. It's just painted. It's not on the box. It's just on the protector. But yeah, this figure is amazing. I just like all the detail on it and it being signed. 
at it though. Like, it's an awesome, awesome figure. Like, all the details, just all the... I actually don't have too many complaints with like any of the WWE ones because they do have a lot of detail on them and they really, I haven't really got one like the paint job some messed up or anything and it just being signed is a lot cooler. So so like I was saying, I, the autographs, you can tell Bailey signed it in a paint pen and then Sting signed it on just a regular Sharpie. So you can tell like the difference, like which one shows up better. But yeah, that's my number one WWE Funko Pop in my collection. If you guys would like or be up to it, I guess I could show you like my, um, like all my top five in my entire Funko Pop collection, like including non WWE ones. So, so yeah, tell me in the comments if you guys would like to see that. And if enough of you guys say yes, then I'll do it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, subscribe. Hope you guys have a good day. Bye.